I'm Erica Sargent. I'm Brad Edwards. Welcome to those of you tuning in for Colbert. Bats and the burbs, they're on the attack, and dozens of people are now being treated for potential exposure. And as CBS 2's Jackie Kostick found out, at least one hospital can't keep up with the demand for treatment. It can happen so quickly, you might not see it. Tony Taylor is setting off the alarm bells after her adult son was bit by a bat while mowing the lawn on Sunday. Something hit him in the back and it was heavy and he brushed it off. Whatever it was came back and bit him. Taylor's son didn't want to go on camera, but she says when he told her about the bite, she implored him to get to the hospital. It's not worth taking a chance. Oh, it probably wasn't. No, just do it. Just do it. Taylor's son did go to Northwestern Medicine's Central DuPage Hospital for treatment, only to find the treatment had run out. Unfortunately, we, we actually had to pull resources from other hospitals because it depleted our our uh, supply of the immunoglobulin. Dr. Jeff Bomer is the chairman and medical director of the emergency department at the same hospital. He says bats are most active this time of year, so it's not necessarily unusual to have patients in for bat exposure. It was unusual to see several families in just a couple of days. Usually it's fairly sporadic. The DuPage County Health Department says people need to be on alert. Five bats have tested positive for rabies so far this year, and 55 people were potentially exposed. While bats typically live in caves or densely forested areas like this one, doctors say you're most likely to be bitten or exposed in your own home. Bats can actually fit through a hole the size of a dime. Obviously a bat bite you'll know. Um, but the, that nighttime exposure with, when the person's sleeping is, is the issue. Dr. Bomer says if you find a bat inside your home, you should seek medical attention. Treatments include the topical immunoglobulin and a vaccine, which Dr. Bomer says are nearly 100% effective. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.